Come Santa Claus, here. come Santa Claus, right down Santa I'm Pastor Rob, and this week is December 6th, and December 6th is the day the church has traditionally celebrated St. Nicholas. So today we're going to do a little game about St. Nicholas. Who was the real St. Nicholas? Well, the first question is, did St. Nicholas give presents to children? And the answer is true. In fact, uh, children would leave out their shoes and St. Nicholas would uh, deposit gifts into them. And that's why many countries on December 6th, children will leave out their shoes, hoping for a gift from St. Nicholas. And I kid you not, St. Nicholas is the patron saint of both merchants and children. Here we are today in the 21st century. Who loves St. Nicholas more than anybody else? Children and merchants. History is stranger than fiction. Next question. Did St. Nicholas live at the North Pole? Survey says... False. St. Nicholas did not live at the North Pole. Here comes Santa Claus. Here comes Santa Claus. Instead, St. Nicholas lived in Tur what is now the modern country of Turkey, and in those days it spoke Greek. So the next question then is, did St. Nicholas have a pet named Rudolph? And we're going to go with sure, because nobody knows what pets St. Nicholas had, and Rudolph kind of sounds Greek to me, so we'll go with that. The last question. <sighs> Would we have Christmas without St. Nicholas? Would it still be Christmas if we didn't have St. Nicholas? Well, you know what? The truth is that Christmas does kind of depend on St. Nicholas. In the year 300, there were a bunch of people who started saying that Jesus wasn't fully God. And St. Nicholas and a bunch of others said, no, 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 Jesus is fully God. He's fully God. And if you think about it, that's what makes Christmas so special. That God didn't hold anything back, but gave us the great gift. Not just a special human, but himself, his son, Jesus Christ. So Nicholas and others helped preserve the beauty and truth of Christi Christmas for the people of the world for centuries afterward. So there's much to celebrate on St. Nicholas. Now, the joy of giving gifts to children, but also the joy that Jesus is fully God. I hope you and your family have a wonderful St. Nicholas Day and a blessed rest of your Advent. Here comes Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus, right down Santa Claus Lane.